Hello, this is Alex, and today we're going to be looking at a simple way to generate mazes in p5.js. First, we'll declare our maze object, as well as how many pixels per tile of the maze. Then we'll declare our setup and draw functions, as well as our canvas. Next, we'll declare six helper functions. Make maze, which takes in a width and a height and initializes our maze object. Maze iterate, which will step through our algorithm for generating the maze and generate one tile at a time. Pick neighbor, which is going to take our current tile and look at all of the tiles around it to see if there's a tile that still needs to be generated. Opposite wall, which takes in a direction of a wall and returns us the opposite direction. As well as draw maze for outputting the maze to the screen and draw tile to make draw maze easier to read. The simplest function is opposite wall. It just takes in a direction in the form of a string and returns the opposite direction also in the form of a string. The pick neighbor function is a little bit more involved. It takes a look at the tiles above, below, to the left, and to the right of the tile that you pass in and randomly returns one that has not yet been generated. If they've all already been generated, it just returns null. The make maze function is where we declare the maze object that we've just been using. It has a stack, a 2D array of tiles, a width, and a height. And each tile has an up, a down, a left, and a right, which contain whether or not that direction is blocked by a wall, whether or not that tile is the start, whether or not that tile is the current tile in the generation, the x and y coordinates of that tile, and whether or not that tile has been seen. At the end of the function, we push the upper left tile to the front of the stack, making it the current tile. In maze iterate, we use a stochastic depth first search graph algorithm to explore the maze randomly and then backtrack and explore any unexplored parts of the maze, repeating until every tile of the maze is accessible. We do this by popping tiles off of the front of the stack and then pushing tiles that we generate using our pick neighbor function. Every time we pick a neighbor, we remove the wall between those two tiles. Draw maze is simply a double for loop that calls draw tile on every tile in the maze object. Draw tile draws scene tiles using their up, down, left, and right information to draw walls as well as placing an orange circle in the center of the tile that was just generated. In setup, we call make maze using our canvas width and height divided by our tile resolution plus two for the scene tiles on the top and bottom. Then in draw, every five frames we check to see if the maze's stack length is not zero. If it's not, that means there are still unexplored tiles, so we call maze iterate and then draw the maze again. The result of this algorithm are mazes where every single tile is accessible from every other tile. If you wanted to use the generated mazes for something like the levels in a game, you could simply modify the draw maze function to export the tiles to something like a JSON instead of drawing them to the screen. Additionally, by simply changing the if statement in the draw loop to a while loop, you can generate the mazes all at once. The only reason I'm doing one iteration every five frames is so that I can give a better idea of how the mazes are generated. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions or ways I can improve, and I'll see you in the next video.